Today we're going to be introducing a new symbol called repeat signs, eighth notes, and then I'm going to show you how to hold your ocarina on the high notes without dropping it. It's kind of important, so stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, Akamigos? My name is David, and welcome back to How to Play Ocarina. Today we're covering Lesson 2, which works alongside my new method book of the same name, and it has all the information we're going to be covering in today's video, along with a bunch of more exercises, songs, illustrations, everything you need to know to start playing. So if you want to grab that now before we get started, there's a link in the description to my website, or go to davidarogramos.com store. Or if you just want to continue along with these videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post a new episode. So I always like to start our next lesson with the review of the previous one, and you can see that we're going to be playing all five pitches that we learned in the last lesson, C through G, along with quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. And it sounds like this. Got it? Let's play along together. One, two, ready, play. Don't forget to hold out that last note to the very end. And now it's your turn to try by yourself. Here you go. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, play. Good job. Okay, now we're on exercise 2.2 and we're introducing repeat signs. Now a repeat sign basically is a symbol within the music that tells you to either go back to the beginning or to repeat a specific section of music. So in this case, we have a repeat sign at the end, which is those two dots and those two bars. And when you only have a repeat sign at the end of the music, it means to go back to the very beginning and play it again. So I'm gonna play through this once to the end and then using that repeat sign, observing that sign, I'm gonna jump back to the beginning and it's gonna sound like this. Got it? Let's play it together. And remember, we have that repeat sign. I'm going to count us in. One, two, ready, play. Repeat. Did you do okay there? It's your turn to play it by yourself, so I will count you in, and don't forget to repeat once you reach the end. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. And repeat. Good job. On to exercise 2.3. Now we have a beginning repeat at the beginning of the music. So that means that we're gonna play this section, these first two bars, two times. First time through, repeat back to the beginning, play it again, and then continue on with those two last bars of music. So it sounds like this. Did you see that I repeated those first two bars? Okay, let's try it together. I'll count us in. One, two, ready, play. Good 
Good job. I'm gonna count you in. One, two, ready, play. Repeat. And moving on. Good job. Now before we learn our next pitch and finger position, I wanna to talk to you about support fingers. Now support fingers are basically the position that we move our hand in to balance the ocarina and keep it from dropping. So today we're gonna to talk about our right support fingers. And basically whenever we have a note that's above G, G, A, B, C, which we'll learn later on, I want you to get in the habit of placing these two fingers, your right pinky and right middle finger on the tip of the ocarina here, like this, or the tail. And I want you to get a feeling for that. So when I play up to G, you can see that my pinky already gets some position there. And that's gonna help me prepare for playing the higher notes and keeping it balanced on my thumbs like that, okay? So now we're gonna learn our next position, which is A. And basically that's all fingers on the right hand up except the thumb. And we're gonna leave down this finger here, our left pinky. We're gonna skip over that and lift up our right ring finger, like so, okay? Pinky down, covering that hole, lifting up left ring finger. And this exercise is only A notes, like this. Here's how it sounds. Remember, we can use our right support finger down there while we're playing this position. Got it, let's try it together. One, two, ready, play. Good job. And now it's your turn to try it by yourself. Here you go. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, play. Good job. Now we're gonna introduce a new rhythm called an eighth note. And remember, this is just half of a quarter note. So what I would recommend whenever we have kind of a difficult passage of music, where we might not be sure how it sounds rhythmically, is we're gonna clap. And the way that these eighth notes are counted are with an and. So if you're looking at this, you can see there's a one, two plus sign, three, four, but instead of saying plus sign, we see and. So it would be one, two, and three, four, one and two and three, four. You see where I'm going? Moving on to measure three. One, two and three, four and one, two, three, four. Let's try clapping it out together. I'll count us in. One, two, ready, clap. One, two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two and three, four and one two, three, four. Now you see how we need to hold out that clap at the end because it's two beats. Now I'm gonna play this demo for you. I'm gonna slow down the metronome a little bit and something that you have to keep in mind is that every time we have a new pitch, you have to say two to articulate. So here it would be two, 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 two. Got it? And you'll hear me play that now. Okay, let's try it together. I will count us in. One, two, ready, play. Good job, now by yourself. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Good job. 
Okay, now we're actually ready to close out this lesson with two songs to wrap up everything we've learned in this lesson. Take a look at this first song and keep in mind that there are repeat signs in the middle section. So you're gonna repeat those two measures before continuing on with the last four measures. So take a second to look at this and pause the video if you need to. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna count you in. Here's our time. One, two, ready, play. Repeat, and moving on, awesome job. You probably recognize what this song is. Let's go ahead and play it together. I'll count us in. One, two, ready, play. Good job. Okay, last song, and there's a lot to look at here, so if you need to, you can pause the video and take a look at it for a minute, and then uh, we'll come back and discuss all the different portions. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is that there is a repeat sign, so you're gonna jump back to the beginning once you reach the end, and then there are eighth notes, so be sure to count this out loud before you try playing it. Remember, it's one and two and three and four. Also, there's a C now in the position of the time signature, and all that basically means is 4-4 four, four time. The 4-4 four, four time signature is so common today that sometimes composers like to use that C just to let you know that it is a 4-4 four, four time signature. Don't let it throw you off. And then lastly, there is this little squiggly line at the end that is known as a quarter rest. We'll talk more about that in the next lesson, but basically, whenever you see a quarter rest, it just means to stay quiet for one beat. So instead of playing that last beat with the metronome, you're just gonna stop playing and then uh, repeat back to the beginning, okay? So I will count you in, give it your best shot, and then we'll play it together. One, two, and three, and play. and repeat. Okay, let's try it together. Hope you did well. Here we go. One, two, ready, and play. Good job. That is gonna do it for today's lesson, awesome job. And next week we're gonna learn a little bit more about those rests and learn some new finger positions as well. Don't forget if you wanna look at these exercises a little bit closer or jump ahead in the lessons, you can check out my book at davideericramos.com store. It's available now. Let me know in the comments how you're doing with these lessons, if you're enjoying it, if you're having fun, if you're learning stuff, I really, really hope you are. And until that next lesson, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you then.